a lot of people do a lot of different things in this world. Some people do this, some people do that. Me, I do Romanian road trips. <laughs> Healing, healing, healing. Check it out. I'm going faster than the train. It's not a race, Steve. It is. <laughs> Beat the train. Awesome. Now I know what you're thinking. Yet another vlog where we admire the beauty of the Romanian countryside but actually in this vlog we are also going to be admiring the beauty of the Serbian countryside because across the Danube River is Serbia and I did not realize the river was so big. I know this is a very North American or a very non-European perspective but the Danube River is so massive it looks like a lake. Mm -hmm. We're staying in the Romanian town called Arsova. We've got a place right on the water and we got an up close front row seat to the size and the vastness of the Danube River. I'm starting to get a sense as to why the Trian Bridge was such an engineering masterpiece. If you guys remember, uh, Roman Emperor Trian, like 1900 years ago, built a bridge to cross the Danube. The reason he did it was he was having so much trouble fighting these barbarians called the Dacians. Uh, the massive Roman army was struggling to fight the much smaller army called the Dachin Barbarians because they were led by this guy. So this is the face of King Decibel, the last of the Barbarian Kings. He successfully fought off the Romans more than a few times until finally, tragically, he took his own life in the year 106 because he realized he was going to get captured by the Romans and things were not going to be pretty. So as far as the tourist attraction goes, it really is just a big face. You just sort of come here stand on the bridge yeah. and look at the face but let me tell you the history that comes with uh king decibel really makes it worth it it's really fun to imagine the 80s and i don't mean the 1980s i mean the 80s because uh king decibel was king in the 80s and the 90s and then the turn of the first century when he finally lost to the roman army so naturally he's a romanian hero a bit of a shame there's nobody named decibel in romania isn't that kind uh, yeah. of a nice name? You're right. It's kind of a nice name. Yeah, we haven't met anyone named, named Decibel. Decibel. Maybe there is. If you're a Decibel watching this video, hit me up <laughs> in the comments. Because it's a nice name, Decibel. Yeah. And he is seen as sort of like a freedom fighter. He was rebelling or at least fighting against the massive Roman army, successfully winning with a smaller army for decades and decades. What's very interesting, too, is obviously Decibel is a national hero, but so is Emperor Trian. Because the word Romanian mm -hmm. actually comes from the word Roman. Roman, yes. Uh, the language Romanian is very similar to the language Italian. And so ethnically speaking, Romanians are part barbarian king, Dachin, Dachin and part uh, Emperor Trian, Roman. Which is sort of uh, an incredible history. It's not every day we go to a country where the guy fighting against the imperialists is a hero and the imperialist is a hero. Right. And often uh, King... Decibel and Emperor Trian are depicted in one image. They could not have been bigger enemies, but they're sort of two opposite sides of the Romanian spirit. Interesting history. So, wow. really love the history here. In terms of a tourist attraction, it's just a face. Big face. But the history that comes with it, I would absolutely recommend it. It's, it's, I mean, imagine the 80s. Were people admiring the beauty of the Danube? Were the Dachans admiring the, the vastness so, of the Danube? I mean, how could you not admire the beauty here? It's, it's hard not to admire. Come I on. feel like that's right, but I'm also worried that maybe they were so busy trying to cut each other's yes, heads off that right. they didn't have much time to, to appreciate the harmony of uh, Mother Nature and just wow. sort of God's grace all around you. Yeah. Um, but with that being said, amazing history. We are right history. in the spot where Decibel ruled and around here is where he successfully fought off the Roman wow. army. Imagine that and now we're just admiring the beauty including the beauty of this of this rock sculpture here. Very nice. Which looks like a little bit like Mount Rushmore in America but Right. <laughs> this is very very impressive. Romanian Rushmore. Yeah. So today Ivana and I are going to take a hike 
admire the beauty of the Danube. Mm -hmm. And then we will end up at a hot spring, which I believe was discovered by the Romans uh, thousands of years ago. Yes. So we can relax in the same way the Roman army would have after they finally, after decades of trying, conquered Decia. Mm -hmm. There you have it, guys. Okay, so far so good. Uh, one more time, just for just for honesty's sake, I did not realize the Danube River is so big. It looks like a lake. It looks wow. like a lake. It's wow. such a big river. Yeah, uh, I mean, how many countries does it go through? I don't even know. Like, I know Serbia, Romania, Austria. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Uh, Germany. Wow. It's a massive river. Okay, there you have it, guys. A bit of a ignorant opinion. The river is big, but that's my first impression. It's like, holy jumping. Looks like a lake. Yeah. All right, let's go explore the uh, biggest river in Europe. Wow. I believe. All right. Let's, let's go. go. Wow. I think we're here at the perfect time of year. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So beautiful. The trees actually. are just perfect. Yellow and red. Yeah. Mm. And the Danube is just beautiful. What wow. a huge river, man. Wow. It's huge, right? Yeah. And Serbia is just right there across from us. That's Serbia. Oh, that's Serbia. Serbia. Wow. Shout out to Unicorn. <laughs> During the fall time, the leaves are on the ground. Just nice. Beautiful. Something about crunchy leaves. Just nice. Yeah, right? You can imagine, Ivana, barbarians walking here, wow. fighting off the Romans 1900 years ago. Probably brave. Although I think I would not be a good barbarian. We've been walking for half an hour. I'm already hungry. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I feel like barbarians uh, fighting all the time. Yes. I, so. I have a lot of questions about barbarian society. Did they have money? Maybe they have coins. Maybe they had coins. Know. Did they have salt? Did, did they, they have salt? Salt, salt did th was money, right? I was gonna say, did they have bread? I guess so. They I'm made bread. Sure. Did they have proper recipes? Like yeah. torba de borta? Oh. Or is it more like you just make bread and eat bread? I think just bread and meat, maybe raw meat. Or bread like and raw meat. Put it on fire. True fact. Yeah. True fact. Look at this. Oh, by the way, guys, we picked up a dog for our hike. Yeah. Which, when you're hiking, it's nice to have a dog. Yeah, he's our protector. He's our protector. I heard there are lots of snakes here, so it's good to have a dog. Oh, me. that's good news. <laughs> yeah. Just great. I tell you what, five stars hike. Oh, it's beautiful. Come on, can't beat it. This is. This is like uh, something from a fairy tale. Yeah, fairy tale fish. And we haven't even seen the few, the few, the top few. Coming soon. Yeah, but the journey there, five stars already. Boomba. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking, Ivana? I'm kind of surprised the barbarians had a king. Mm -hmm. Seems like barbarian in my head is more every man for himself. But someone gotta be, you know, take the lead. If they had a king, that probably means they had money. I think these barbarians were more sophisticated than I might be thinking in my head. They had a yeah. king, they had money, they, they fought the wine. Romans. Did they have houses and cities or did they just have like nomadic? Uh, I think they had houses with ovens. They're making bread every day. Yeah. I think they're more sophisticated barbarians than maybe I was giving them credit for. <laughs> or you know? they're more like hunters and gatherers. No, I think they had cities. Hmm. I think they had yeah, houses. So. Yeah. yeah. Nice place to pitch a tent, no Ivana? Yeah. You pitch a tent right here. Not exactly flat. You'd be sleeping on an angle, yeah, but... Okay. Look at that view here. Phew. Oh, down there's the water. Whoa, Holy jumping. Nice. This is the viewpoint. Very nice. Oh, wow. Bine. Bine. Forte bene. Some snacks for decibel? I think so. Oh, yeah. You Dogs like apples? apples? They like apples. <laughs> no. <laughs> no apple. <laughs> apple. Decibel oh. doesn't want apples on my sandwiches. <laughs> so bad. Give him a sandwich. I packed some sandwiches. Leave him a bite at the end. 
At the end. Yeah. Be patient, Dezebel. Come in. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at this. Lunch and a view. <laughs> On top of the road! <laughs> By the way, Zakuska in the sandwich. <laughs> From Anna's farm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good sandwich. <laughs> there you go. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Pretty good sandwich, right, buddy? <laughs> that's Zakuska in there. <laughs> I think Zakuska makes everything better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I've got no words in my vocab to describe the view here. I think it's actually the best drone footage we've ever gotten. Really? I think it's some of the best drone shots I've ever seen. Wow. This is just beautiful. I don't know if the drone looks good, but in real life it's... Oh, I don't want to leave this place. I know, me neither. Oh. And you really get a sense of the scale when you see these tiny little boats. Uh, naturally, we had the choice to go on a boat adventure or on a hiking adventure. We chose the hiking adventure. Uh, the boat adventure was highly recommended. Yes. I'm sure it's great. But up here, I just... We wanted the view up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the thing about a boat is it's always water level. So up here, uh, I think we made the right choice. Although I'm sure the boat ride is also great. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to say? Five stars, six stars, best ever, most beautiful place in Romania. All the superlatives yeah. I can say. Oh my gosh. Uh, this place is amazing. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of favorite places in Romania, but oh. <laughs> we have one more to add to the list. Oh, yeah. One more to add to the list. This is just amazing. Wow. Just amazing. Okay, let's head back down, Ivana. Okay. We've got about an hour hiking down, and then we'll go to a hot spring, which should be a perfect way to rest after our hike. Woohoo! I mean, this quality of viewpoint for only one hour hiking is pretty nice. Yeah. Because it could have been a six day trek for this, but one hour is. Combine that with. Really, really good sandwich. Take a break at. Oh. With homemade zakuska from Anna's farm in the sandwich <laughs> and our dog with us. Dude, six stars. Oh my goodness. All right, the journey continues. The adventure continues here in small town Romania. So believe it or not, if we look over the ledge here, this whole river has a bunch of pools on the left and right. Maybe we can see one uh, up around the corner where uh, the water is hot. So the whole river more or less smells like that sort of rotten eggs, sulfur uh, smell. And actually the name of this place is the Herculean Bath because the story is Hercules himself visited this very river and sort of warmed up and bathed after one of his heroic uh, legends. So we did see a sign that said, Emperor Tryon actually founded this place in the year 110 AD. Now, these buildings we're seeing are not from 2000 years ago, obviously, but they are from 200 years ago or so, mm. because in the 1800s, the Austrians loved this place and they built a lot of these buildings, which quite often have a plaque in front of them, although it seems to be hit or miss. Some of them have English, some of them don't. Yes. But even before we read all of the uh, plaques, Visually, it's an amazing place. Yeah. You've got this 200 year old stuff. I guess 200 years ago, there was no electricity. Early 1800s. Right, right, right. So having hot water at your disposal was oh. a really nice thing. Especially during the winter, it's nice. Especially during the cold winter. So there's a bunch of good information and good plaques and many, many good Instagram spots all around here because of the uh, frequently in disrepair 200 year old buildings. Yeah. Buildings and the mountain backdrop. Just makes this place really nice. Really great. And actually the fact that it's fall, the leaves are all changing color and the trees are all dying, mm -hmm. kind of fits with the fact that a lot of the buildings are under renovation and uh, derelict. Right. Because everything's sort of colorful and falling apart <laughs> and looks very beautiful. But with that being said, I think it's time we jump down the riverbanks and see if we can find a pool. I guess it's free to enter because they're just everywhere uh, all around. So we can just go find one and uh, soak in some hot uh, egg water. Egg water. Egg water. <laughs> good, but 
it's good for you. Good for you. Let's go. Healing, healing, healing. Oh. <laughs> Relax. This is nice after a day of hiking and exploring. This is just perfect. Oh, yes. So here we are in the same hot water uh -huh. that people 2,000 years ago, Romans, uh -huh. were enjoying. We were just up there. It's more hot. I'm a bit nervous to make a vlog amongst the bathing suit community, <laughs> but I'm doing my best. Uh, nice. It's Would very recommend. nice. Very relaxing. Would recommend. Would recommend. Check it out, man. Oh yeah. Very uh, nice. Just the by the river there. The oh. smell is actually not so bad. Yeah, it doesn't smell here. It was stronger down there. Yeah. So we're in the smell free. And the water, you can see it's so clear and nice. Very nice. There you have it, guys. All right. Uh, we had an absolutely great day today. I love this little community. It's so beautiful over here. Mm -hmm. Um. The whole area is nice, Another. from the decibel structure uh. to hiking at the Danube Gorge, and then now this little hot spring area is amazing. Umba. <laughs> Another part of Romania we love. Okay, let's enjoy. See you guys later. Let's, let's relax and uh, heat ourselves up. Bye-bye. <laughs>